This is the largest, most luxurious and most sophisticated hostel at Tiny Madras. In the center of this hostel, there is a basketball court and I have to catch this ball before it hits the ground and I have to make the basket because... I'll show you the room tour, hostel facilities and sports facilities of this hostel, but... Now this is my room and that is my switch box. Now say this. Alexa, switch on the light. Alexa, switch on the light. Unlike Freshie's hostel, my hostel is a single sharing room. So in this video, we are going to compare both the hostels and we are going to compare hostel room tour, hostel facilities and sports facilities. By the way, if you are a basketball player, Okay, we have a special announcement in this video. But before starting the video, you need to understand why am I comparing these two hostels in the same IIT. Because seven months back, I challenged seniors and freshies and this is what happened. Who is smarter? IIT Madras seniors or IIT Madras juniors? I'm gonna give three challenges to both the teams. Whoever wins the most wins thousand rupees. They're gonna to lose to the bottom. And each challenges have punishments if the team fails to answer this. In one of the challenges, if the contestant fails to answer, they have to do an extreme dare given by the op. Okay, there's one group over there. Somebody of you go and tell her that I love you. Baby, to control Level 1, 200 rupees. They have to answer this simple 5th standard question or they owe me 200 rupees. Which part of the body will never grow from the moment you born? What is that? Eyes. Which part of the body will never heal if it got hurt? <laughs> no. Is it toe? No. Teeth, teeth, Correct. Level 2, 300 rupees. They have to answer this difficult GK question or a... If you lose, you have to say your crush. You have a crush on them. So what do you call a group of pandas? Can I Google it? Google it. <laughs> I have no idea. Honestly, I have no idea. Who is gonna call? Yeah. You are gonna call. I have one crush. I will call. Ira, Ira kade, phone na, Ira kade. I am just sleeping. Okay. Call so somebody else then. Please call your parents, someone. Uh, you call your parents and tell. Yeah, he will be shot. Shot, da. Da. Na na na. Call me na. Ah, Dad, I love you, Dad. Oh, YouTube, <laughs> YouTube. Dad. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, Dad, I love you. Ah, <laughs> okay na. <laughs> so, what do you call a group of wild beasts? I don't have any idea. Any idea? Then call. Call your crush. Hello. You look handsome. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, level three is spelling bee game. The spelling bee competition is like basically if I tell a word, you have to tell the pro exact spelling. Exact spelling. Okay. This is what you have to do. What is precocious? P I C O. No, no, no. Precocious. We have to do there, right? Huh? Yeah, you have to give it a word. There is one guy standing there. You should go to that guy and you, you should say this uh, attire and this hairstyle does not suit to you. Come on. I think you should change your hairstyle. It looks, it, it does not look swell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is the spelling we pronounce is for Chihuahua? Huh? Chihuahua. Chihuahua. C H I C H I C H I. No, 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 no. I'm no. <laughs> teaching. Hey, okay. D H I W A W A. No, no, no. There's one group over there. Somebody of you go and tell her that I love you. I just want to let you know. Like, you all are very pretty and I love you all. There, there. Obviously. So in that game, I got able to find a clear winner. As nowadays, I'm not making any challenge videos. To find out the winner, I decided to challenge the hostel. With me representing the senior side and whoever in Mandak represents the freshie side. So we are going to evaluate three factors, hostel room two, sports facilities, hostel facilities. Okay, so now we are going to check out the room two. So for that, I'm going to invite two people. So first is I'm going to invite IITJ Topper. He's a kid all in their rank six. Karthik AI, yay, welcome. Woo. Now, I have to check out the M-Tech rooms also and we are going to invite another gate topper. He secured all in the rank 123. His name is Ranjit. Yay! Yay! Hello guys! Say hello! Yay! By the way, when I was on the way to Topos home, I observed most of the rooms in the hostel has been shared by three people. By the way, hostels in IIT Madras is named after river. The 146 floor hostel I have shown was 
Mandagini and my hostel was Sindhu. In Mandagini, newly joined students of B.Tech, M.Tech, M.S. will get accommodation, whereas my hostel people of M.S. and P.H.D. scholars from second year will get accommodation. The room is good enough in space, with each student provided with a cot, table, a chair, a cupboard, plug point, and a LAN connection. And one more good thing: the rooms facing outside of the hostel can have a good look at the greenery. So if anyone is newly joining, just try to get those. Obviously, I'm getting one point for hostel room tour comparison. I will show you why, but let's find out which topper keeps their room better. But before that, if you are someone who is preparing for GATE exam with best faculties, GATE Bala is providing quality education at an affordable cost. With students securing good ranks in each branch, I suggest you GATE Bala. Additionally, if you use my code RAGU500, you will get instant 500 rupees off. PW is also supporting your dream of joining ISRO along with GATE. They have introduced batches for ISRO. The discounted price for ISRO courses is valid until 30th June. Additionally, get 150 rupees off by using RAGU150 code. And GW provides topic wise previous year questions for all subjects for just 849 rupees with an embedded QR code for the video solutions. Use RAGU150 for additional 150 rupees off. <laughs> students 80 and 90 so this is the room tour for three sharing what do you think about this room <laughs> it's much more tidy compared to mine whoa b-tech freshers room tour yeah i dj it up a room yes which is your place you can, this yes. one this one the most untidiest is that one only <laughs> that one huh? yeah oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so you don't use this chair and all so where do you sit and study there Check out this table. Now, oh, how do you feel when you see your opponent is losing? <laughs> <laughs> I would say, um, they are new to the colleges, so let them enjoy. Coming to my hostel, it is a single sharing room. We are provided with one cot, a table attached to a wall, and a cupboard exactly opposite it, and a chair was also given. Additionally, I got a table so that I can read books in sunlight. Also, I keep this rod because it's very difficult for me to go and uh, switch on the fans, and also from here itself, I used to switch off. A machine is anything that reduces. Uh... Human effort, sir. Engineering, right? <laughs> That's engineering. And this is my habit tracker where each month I try to build or break three habits to make myself better. Like trying to break into this bad habit. This is a bad habit I'm trying to break. With recently, the food court Istara here introduced a facility of started delivering food to students in their hostel. Last month itself, I drank peanut butter almost every day. So one day, I decided to change it. And this sheet helps me stay accountable. I have shared this sheet in my Telegram group and a video explaining how you can use this sheet to build or break a habit using the powerful principles from the best-selling books on habits. Do check it out. So I would say in my view, honestly, you know, uh, single sharing room was much more convenient. So one point for us, man. Before moving on to the hostel facilities, sports facilities, you might have a doubt. How many Many years a freshie need to share room. Okay, so I started texting all of my friends who are in various years doing B Tech, M Tech, MS, and here is the answer. For B Tech, M Tech, MS, first year, you guys are going to be in Mandagini and it is going to be a share room. For B-Tech, from the second year onwards, you might be alerted to Kaveri or Brahmaputra hostel, which will be definitely a sharing with either two or three sharing room. For B-Tech third year, if you are lucky, you will get a single sharing room, or in some rare cases, you will get a sharing room. But in final year, Definitely, you are going to have a single sharing room. For MTech and MS students, from the second year onwards, you are going to have single sharing room. Now, moving on to the next, girls are allowed in boys hostel. Let me ask my friend uh, and I will invite her. She will explain it better. Nothing. I have no one who I can invite here or uh, that close to ask also. So I decided to ask that to the security guard downside and uh, this is what he said. He said, girls are allowed to boys hostel from 9 a to 9 p.m. But but when I asked the same to Mandagini hostel guard, he said girls are not allowed in Mandagini hostel. That's sad, right? That's so sad, man. but it doesn't bother me anyway. Now moving on to the next one, talking about sports facilities in 55th Inter IIT last in rating that was happened at IIT Delhi. IIT Madras basketball team won gold. <laughs> In men's category, we won the overall championship. So if you're a passionate sports player, I would recommend joining IIT Madras also. If you're a passionate basketball player who loves to play a lot of basketball tournaments and like to meet other ambitious young ballers 
for not only good in sports but also good in accords and entrepreneurship. Come join us, especially tall players. Have you ever had a goal in your life and you quit because things didn't go in your way? Not only once but also twice, but also thrice. Hold on, don't quit. It all started when I met this wonderful team. At that time, I didn't knew there is a grand tournament called Inter IIT, where IITs literally fight to win that at all costs. Sitting lonely in my room again, trying to find the words to say. But and I wanted to win one because I was so obsessed with basketball, so obsessed that during my B Tech, I practice in the mornings and evenings, and after that also I go to stadium and I will practice for some hours. <laughs> I just love it. Joining this team, I feel so powerful because we are full of experienced and skillful players. And the result is, people who didn't even consider IIT Madras as a team started well preparing for IIT Madras because we won most of the matches. And the matches we lose, we lost against the best teams. That to be the tough fight. Practice. Hey guys, so we just played some evening practice and we just met Hari sir. He was a chill and the drug bust of the car and military police or jail and the parole on the Kaidi. Our pair going to be one of the major role in Vikram 2 and Kaidi. Then the real problem starts. Surya being one of the most promising players of IIT Madras got some extension to Germany. He was sad initially and during Inter IIT I hated him a lot because we called him for the match but he was saying stories. What the fuck was that? But his parallel happens to be on another good thing that happened. I met a lot of good friends from girls basketball team. Crazy! So one guy versus five girls, free throw challenge. If this boy wins against five girls, girls have to sponsor entire boys team at dinner and vice versa. He's gonna lose! <laughs> yes. If you win, I will give 1000 rupees. Okay, ready? And then again, things got worse. Our tall man GV got injured in the next trophy. Doctor advised to take six months rest. So he didn't participate in our IIT Madras Sports Fest. And during our Sports Fest, another one of the height man, Arvin, got injured in the first game of the Super League. And we came last in our own trophy. But something new happened that we didn't thought that would happen. New players started showing up with more enthusiasm and they showed promising results. And finally, there is a main camp before Inter IT. Intensive morning and evening practice before 12 days of Inter IT. With the rule, who is missing the practice more than three times will be out of the tournament. On the first day of main camp, guess how many people showed up? Four to five people on the court because some of them are sick and many of them have plays. We went to Inter IT with the hashtag. You just go and have fun in Delhi and just take it chill. Virus, and now that you're yes. telling that they are from the service, if you're correct, then yeah. these are the yeah. virus. Okay, cool. But one thing we didn't realize the moment we reached Delhi, we realized we we're all here and together. And you know what? But I see the light from far away, it's down the line. Maybe I should not give up without a fight, because there will be a time. Oh, oh. Why do I try? 
Cause now I'm feeling like a fool again Thinking I can fool myself by telling me lies When there's so many things that I keep in my mind I hang around people I don't even like If they can be happy and walk with a smile Oh, why can't I? Someone look for me if I disappear No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears But I see the light from far away, it's down the line Maybe I should not give up without a fight Cause there will be a time Now coming to sports facilities, hands down, Mandogan has the best sports facilities. So coming directly straight to the point, Manda has gym which was accessible to students 24 by 7 and equipment are super new. In my hostel we have dumbbells. <laughs> dumbbells is sufficient right though, that is sufficient but still. Now in Manda in 2nd, 4th, 6th, 8th floor they have an indoor badminton court and students can access it 24 by 7. Here in future I strongly believe it is going to happen but we do have a volleyball court where students use it for multiple. Manda has both volleyball and basketball court inside the hostels. Coming to indoor court games, they are having snooker table table tennis two in a room and carom boards and something new also they have in we are also having the same but i guess students were not quite using it and this is it hands down manda wins in this also to stir up some competitive environment in sports among hostel we do have inter hostel tournaments called stroy you might be wondering why i'm standing here actually i'm coaching this violet team they're happening even semesters last time in basketball our hostel we collaborated with our nearby hostel pompa and we won gold <laughs> So the idea is each hostel has to form team and they have to compete with other hostels in all sports from swimming, basketball, cricket. For each sport there will be prizes like gold, silver, bronze. And whichever the hostel perform the best in all sports, they will win the Schroeder trophy. Moving on to the final, what are the actual facilities a freshie will get in his hostel and I will get? Each floor in Mandag have around 70 to 90 rooms. For laundry purposes, two rooms will be provided with three washing machines each. So, so we have three washing machines, one, two. Six washing machines per floor is provided. So this is our washing machine. Uh, it is also the same. But in Sindhu, we have around 50 rooms in each floor and we have two washing machines in each. So now this one gone. Next, both the hostels have kitchens. Let's say you want to cook something with your friends. You go cook. Inside it, you will have the microwave oven, induction stove, utensils and a fridge. Let's see. What is that called? Oh, that is induction stove. There are so many stoves. So here you have microwave. So in both Mandak and Sindhu, we have the facilities with Mandak having more microwave ovens and induction stoves. So I see it's fair because they have more in numbers. Additionally, Mandak has a study room where in Sindhu we don't have. In study room where the tables will be there and students can go and access the table and study there. Currently, the students are preparing for NSEM. And a small library will also be in the study room. Here we have a library but it is not as big like a study room but we can find books for preparation. And both the hostels have a TV room and if students want to watch it, he can go check it out. So overall, I feel in terms of other facilities, I can give one marks to Manda. <laughs> Maybe I should not give up without a fight.